So we're given this equation then for the height of a passenger after t minutes and we're asked to figure out what the full equation is. In other words, find this value of a. Now we're given that the height of the passenger, let's just put this in, we're given that the height of the passenger is one meter initially. So that's going to be when t equals zero. And all you need to do then is substitute t equals zero into here and figure out what a is. So we know that h is one, so we therefore got that one must be equal to a. And we've got for t zero being zero, the cosine of zero is one. So you're gonna get minus 10 there. And when it comes to the sine of zero, well the sine of zero is zero. So we can forget that term. So clearly if I add 10 to both sides, I end up with a equaling 11. And so if we substitute that back into this equation, then we're going to get our final equation as being given by this. OK, now you could leave it like that or you might want to carry on. It's up to you. You could put this part in brackets, pull out negative one. And if you do that, you're going to get this result here. The plus clearly changes to a negative. Now, the reason for doing that is because in the earlier part of the question, we took this expression. Remember, it was 10 cos theta minus 3 sine theta. But all I'm doing is just replacing the theta with the ATT. We saw that the bit in brackets could be written in the form r cos theta plus alpha. And if we combine that with what we've got here, we end up with 11 minus and the R part was root 109 and we've got the cosine of theta being 80 T plus the alpha part which we found out to be 16.699 and so on. OK, so either one of these answers is going to be acceptable. OK, right now we move on to the second part where we had to find the maximum value of H and it's best to look at this version of the formula for H because we've got two terms. We've got this constant term 11 and we've got this second term here, which is going to vary depending on the value of T. But this part in the brackets will vary, but whatever it is, we've got the cosine of this angle. And we should be familiar with the fact that the cosine of any angle goes between 1 and minus 1. And if we're to make this a maximum, then we just want this value to be negative 1. So we create 11 plus root 109. Be careful here. It's not to make this value 1. Otherwise, we're going to get a minimum value of 11 minus the root of 109. OK, so if we just put this in, that maximum value of h is going to be 11 plus the root of 109 when the cosine of all of that bracket there equals negative 1. So you can work this out, OK, the root of 109 plus 11, and you get h to be this value here, 21.440 and so on, which is 21.44 meters to two decimal places.